Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome to Lily DIYs and Tries and today it's going to be a little different and I am going to quickly try to stuff this money and it's going to be the savings and revolving funds together. Taking it back old school, just kidding, I mean it was just a few months ago I used to do it this way. Because I am going out of town and I have minimal time to prep but I do need to stuff the money and be ready for my trip. Okay, so today. That was a sad slap. <laughs> okay. Um, today we are stuffing $885. So let's make sure that's what we have. Okay. So I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 800, 50, so 850, 860, 870, 890, 890. How do you go from 870 to 890? 870 to 75, 80, so 888, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that is $885. If I said any of that weird or it was wrong, I... Sorry. I did pre-count like a bunch of times before I got started, but you know when you're rushing, nothing goes right. And I think I established before that like when I use this side of it, I forgot I need to like tilt it upwards so you guys can actually see the bills. This. And I think last time I used a pill bottle. Okay, I hope you can see that. It's really weird from my angle, but from your angle, I hope you can actually see that. So first, let's start off by talking about the budget. So when I was reviewing my journal for my budget this week, this, if I, gosh, I don't think I even said it. Today we are stuffing for the 32nd paycheck of the year, so that means there's 20 more paychecks to go. And it's for the day of August 11th. Today is August 11th that I am filming to August 17th. Things I want, you guys, I just want to be healthy. Honestly, there's like no materialistic thing that I want in this very moment. Um, but I am going to start focusing on trying to put more money in medical and emergency savings. I had some dental work that I required to get done. And it drained like my health and my, um, my health account and then my savings account. And I've had to charge to my care credit card. It's I had it's just like one thing after another, but you know what? Like, as long as we're moving in the right direction, I'm grateful, and I'm grateful that I have access to care. But still, oh, okay. So I just want to be healthy, and I just want to focus on my health. Things I need: um, new bedding, my baby blue Max. We have a white duvet cover, and he had like allergies. I mentioned a few weeks ago, like that he had allergies, but he scratched himself to the point that like he like would bleed <laughs> like it's so sad um but he had like all these like tiny scabs so then at night when he would sleep with us and then he would roll around in the bed sheets like he got all these little tiny blood marks everywhere and it, it doesn't make sense but i have washed the bedding i've oxy cleaned it i've done everything i can to like brighten it get the stains out but i just feel like it's like plus it's older so like between that recently happening and us having like a while with these, you know, white sheets. Um, I feel like I just can't get them the right white anymore, if that makes any sense. So I am interested in getting new bedding for all those reasons. TMI? I don't know. Whatever air circumstances is coming up this week that you know will make you spend money on. So it's the boat weekend. I mentioned it in my plan with me. Um, so this is my boat weekend. So I'm really, really excited. But of course, that means like we're going to go have lunch on the water. We're probably going to need to go buy things like while we're on the boat, so stuff like that. So I am taking from my vacation envelope and taking that money with me. So I am have extra padding for this weekend away. Okay, things I could do to adjust and save. Uh, freelance work, I could always bump that up. I could always do more advertising for me and my sister's company. So that's something that I need to start focusing on. And then I always say list on Posh and Macari because... 
you know, I'm always, like recently I've been needing new clothes for certain things, but I haven't been budgeting for clothes because I know that I have a source of income in my closet that I just haven't been taking advantage of. So anyways, what can I, so I'm the same thing, what can I give up and say no to or let go this week? Online shopping and fast food, you guys, I failed at online shopping. I'm not using my slip book today due to time, but this pouch is brought to you by Miss Balance and Budget, and when I was editing videos last night, I was like, oh, Miss Balance and Budget has... Um, she's not Miss, she's just Balance and Budget. Uh, like Madre, she has an Etsy shop, and I wanted to link her Etsy shop in my video. And, um, <laughs> ended up buying <laughs> a bunch of savings challenges. In my defense, her savings challenges are so cute, and what got me was she had a Bluey savings challenge, and I love Bluey. And that's it. So I spent some money there. The Happy Planner had their annual clearance online, and I couldn't help it. The deals were just too good to pass up. And I actually prepped for stickers for next year. So I failed at that last week. I need to do better this week. Fast food. So because I had my tooth situation and then ultimately got a root canal this week, I did not do much cooking because I eat. There was not a lot of easy eating happening. And I just didn't feel like it. So I didn't go grocery shopping. There's going to be rollover for grocery. So what I overspent in like eating out, I took it out of grocery. And then my husband was really good about like alternating days to buy like takeout. So I did. It didn't really affect me, my budget that hard, but I don't want to like this to be a pattern because we do need to have groceries. But anyways, um, the root canal, I think was a success. It's still really tender to bite. Like literally, I, I just had it yesterday morning at 7 a.m. So um, anyways, but I'm pretty um, excited and to see if this was successful. And moving on to next steps, I have to get a crown. For those of you that have had a root canal before, you know, the, it's really costly um but it has to be done so that is that and before I make it too far since I still have this out I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my 401k contribution I know that this is something I normally do in my savings video but like I said we're combining the savings so yeah so this is 1000 this is 100 200 300 400 500 and I currently have since the beginning of May, I've contributed now $1,654 to my 401k account, so I get to fill in another stribity. And I have not upped it back to 10% like I wanted to in August because of all of these medical expenses that are just... And by medical, I mean dental. However, um, more information to come, but I may be needing surgery... And I spoke with my new OBGYN, and she's given me a couple options for surgery. Um, nothing major. I don't have anything, like, life-threatening, nothing like that. But she did recommend that I get a procedure done, and there's two options to this procedure. One is more invasive, and one is, like, outpatient is what it's called, I believe. And the other one, I would need to, you know, be put to sleep, full-on surgery and there is a recovery period. So it just depends on how serious I want to be about tackling this issue. So anyway, so all that to be said, between the dental and the new news I got about that, I need to save in my emergency and in my medical. So I won't be upping 401k at this time. And I, guys, I, to be honest, I think I'm going to put a pause on the 20k just, just until I feel that the other priorities are being taken care of. I'm not going to touch the money in 401k, excuse me, in, um, nor 401k or the 20k. That's going to sit in the high yield account and continue to collect interest. However, it's just not a priority in this moment. Yes, that paying down debt is still a priority to me. So that's why, like, if I use my city card, like, I pay it off every week. If I'm using my Amazon card, you guys see me doing the Amazon audit. I'm not adding to debt. And me having to put the debt, the... the I mean, having to put my root canal on the care credit card, like, really hurt my soul. But at the same time, I I selected to do 12 months at 0% interest. So, yes, that added to my debt. However, I'm not wasting money on interest. I, this video is a lot of TMI, you guys. I'm all over the place. Um, but anyways, hope that makes sense. Let's get started with the envelopes, the wallet. So for grocery, I had left over 20, 35, 6, 7, 8. So $38. So $3 will go towards the 100 envelope challenge. And then $35 is going to get rolled over to the um, Sam's Club. And so this week for groceries, I have allotted, uh, let's see. 
$60, so that's $20, $40, We're not going to be home this weekend, so that's why I didn't put like a lot, and as you can see, I'm rolling over into Sam's Club. It is almost time for me to do a Sam's Club haul, so we'll see how that goes. Dining out, I'm putting $40 in. $20, 40 Okay. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, there's the 40 Fun. So fun, we're rolling over $20. I'm going to be adding another 20 so that's 40 It's the first week that I get to roll over fun in a long time, but um, with me having the toothache for almost two weeks, yeah, there was no way last weekend I was doing anything other than staying in my house. Beauty is getting nothing. Splurge still has $15, and we're going to leave the $15 in there. And we're not going to add anything this week. And then same thing for miscellaneous. I didn't budget adding anything. Why did I do that? I don't know why I did that, but I didn't, so I'm going to stick with it. Okay, I know I got a lot of change. So much change that like my wallet was not, I wasn't forcing my wallet closed because I knew it was like, it was too bulky in here. So four quarters goes back. Now it closes nice and neat. Separating the quarters from the rest. So Mr. Boo gets the small change. And Ticket to Play gets all the quarters. I will be taking Ticket to Play with me to Charleston because sometimes we play Lopedia, sometimes we play like, you know, card games, so we'll see. But I will take it just in case. It never hurts. Continuing. So I didn't even fill out the slips, so I'm going to fill them out as I go. Hopefully I don't mess up anything too bad, but we'll see. Gas. Gas currently has 101 still. I still have not reconciled. The capital and gas card because I am waiting on my reimbursement check from my um, company trip that I took last week. I'll be getting that next week. So once I get that, I'll zero out the capital and card that I use for travel and I'll take this money if needed. Alrighty, so today is the 11th and we have opted in my budget to add $30. So. That should be 120, 31. So plus 30 equals 131. All right, cool. So that one's done. Car maintenance is getting nothing. Again, I'm waiting for, oh no, I lied. For some reason I budgeted $5 to car maintenance. I think that was meant for miscellaneous. Ooh, I missed it up. I missed it up. Okay, so, but I'm going to do what the budget said. So let's do plus five, and it had four, so that equals nine. So one, two, three. That was a thick one. <laughs> one, two, three, four, plus a five equals nine. Awesome. Car maintenance is done. So, not to like keep harping on the dental stuff I've had lately, but I found out with the root canal that I was recommended to do. I had another fill-in scheduled on the other side of my mouth. I told the dentist on Monday when I went in, I said, I'm not going to do that last cavity fill-in because I can't even eat out of this half of my mouth. Like, I can't chew properly. It's so much pain. I wake up every night, like, having to take something in the middle of the night. And so they're like, all right, let's take x-rays. Let's figure out what's happening. So it turns out that the cavity they had filled in on my right side was really close to the nerve. It didn't touch the nerve. You can see in the x-ray that there's still a, a tooth barrier between the fill-in and the nerve. But sometimes when you get that close, though, you end up um, on a super tiny level, like, you know, exposing the nerve in some way to sensitivity, and that's what happened. So they recommended I go get... The root canal, the root canal specialist, it's an endo something, I apologize, I don't know, I don't know the name off the top of my head, but that specialist was in the same plaza, that office was in the same plaza as, as the dental office I go to, so I just walked over there, made the appointment that same day on Tuesday, they said, we can see you on Wednesday, I actually had another doctor's appointment on Wednesday, so I was like, can I actually see you guys on 
the next as soon as and they're like thursday thursday 7 30 in the morning great i said let's do it oh while i was there they're like hey let's check your insurance i was like okay so i checked my insurance and it turns out i had tapped out like my dental plan for the year and it would only cover 69 dollars worth of the procedure making the grand total i had left to pay was 1900 dollars However, they were gracious enough and took a hundred bucks off of my bill. Um, so that was really nice of them. Something, something. And it came out to 1800 So it's going to be 1800 over 12 months. So it's going to be a little over like $100 a month, which is fine. I think it's like 150 a month, technically, um, which is fine. It's fine. So medical is tapped out and I had to get an antibiotic. So yeah. They prescribed an antibiotic um, because it, the tooth area was like a little inflamed. So just in case to fight infection. So all lovely stuff. So anyways, $50 is getting put in medical. Slowly but surely, we'll, we'll build this up again. So let's do cash. Let's do plus 50. So it should have had 11 plus 50 is 61. So 50, 61 is correct. If you're new to the channel and you're like, does this woman always rush and ramble? Sometimes. Sometimes. I'm not going to lie, guys. Uh, but today's a little more severe than other days. I'm like trying to hurry up before my husband gets back from the gym. Because as soon as he gets from the gym, we're just going to load the car up and head out. Whew, okay, gifting. Gifting is getting $100. So that's $120.31. So $131 now. So, the reason gifting is getting so much is because I have to reconcile my card soon from the gifts we bought for my uh, sister and my friend. Because we're celebrating both my sister and my friend this weekend. TV magic. Okay, so my husband just got home, so I need to hurry up because he's going to take a shower. And we're going to hit the road. So excited! Okay. So that was gifting. Home miscellaneous is getting in five dollars. So it had 20, one, two, three. So now it has five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five dollars. So let's do oh no, backwards. So home is uh, pets oh baby max he's a expansive boy he is gonna get twenty dollars okay so if this is correct and i give him 20 he had 67 so now he should have 87 um my sister-in-law just picked him up like an hour ish ago um or more so she watches him for us when she's available, when we go out of town, and I'm very grateful to her. But he was so excited. As soon as he saw his weekend back, he was like, let's go. Um, so he did say bye to me. He was so sweet. He like kind of like did that thing where, you know, small dogs do where they like kind of jump up and like lean against your legs. It was wagging his tail. And I was like, okay, bye, buddy. You have a great weekend. And he was out the door with them. Um, so we miss him when we do these things, but um, with our friends... You have to respect people's homes. We stay with our friends when we go visit them. And they are a pet-free home. Plus, we are really busy when we go. Um, so it's not like we have the time to spend with him anyways. So anyways, it's like a vacation for him and a vacation for us. Because they spoil him. But anyways, Max should have $87. 20 40 60 70 85 67 So 87 is correct. Okay, Sam's Club. Oh my gosh, almost everything's getting money today. Sam's Club has a rollover. So let's put. Oh, and we had rollover last week. Look at us. Rollover plus 35. So if it had 20, it should be now 55. So I have 20, 40, 55. Correct. So that's that. Oh my gosh, even, even the channel is getting some money? Okay, so the channel is getting $5. I 
have my screen like right up here so that's why I like I'm like kind of like surprised I mean I did this like earlier in the day and I don't remember what I wrote so it has now 120 25 30 so 130 that is correct <clears throat> Okay, now the channel is getting a good bit of money. Oh, and let me preface this by saying that this money here, it's only from my paycheck from my 9 to 5, from what I rolled over last week, and then um, and then this week. I didn't do the savings stuffing last week, so that's why I put it in by rollover. Okay, so the business is getting $150.00. We have a wedding expo that we are doing soon, and we're still making payments on the wedding expo, so that's why, like, I had to put a little more money in there. Okay, so if I'm adding 150, so that is 262. So let's make sure that's what I have. This is kind of weird, but stick with me, guys. So I have. 150, 60, 80, 220, 40, 62. So that is correct. So 262. Whew, we're making our way. Right? And then the Amazon audit. I've already made the payment for the Amazon cord and I've already gotten my new Amazon statement. So soon I'll have to take out money from these and then do this again. It's never ending. You know how it will you though if you stop using Amazon. It's a conversation for another time. Okay, emergency savings is all oh no never mind. There's two that are getting money in here. Okay, emergency savings. So emergency savings is getting 150. So that's 150. Okay. So I'm gonna switch this up. Okay, so it's getting 150. So let me do eight, eight, open, and let's do cash savings plus 150. So I should now have 3,700. Okay, so in the bank, I have 1,000, 2,000, 3,050. So so 3,500, 3, I cannot talk. And then plus I have 600, and then 50, and then 70, and then 90, and then 700. So that is correct. So in cash, I have $200, but in the bank, I have 3,500. Combined to 3,700. I would like to get that number back up to 10000 in my emergency savings. Um, we'll see. We'll see. That's where I started the year, and then they just do 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 one thing after another. You know how that is. Taxes and I can nothing blink. So, I pulled the money out to pay my Amazon card back for the blink subscription, and I forgot to take account taxes. Taxes is $7 because in the state I live in, it's 7%. So 7% of 100 is what? $7. So I owe is still $7 to actually pay the blink off. Blink is our home security system. So when I do the Amazon reconciliation, I'll, I'll have the $7 for that. That thing for Prime, insurance is fully funded. Boom. Okay. You guys are trying to rush through. That's not always a good idea. Okay, so what I should have left, including this, is $246. Because I was going to have $243 plus $3 is $246. Let's see. I have Forty. Yes, two hundred and forty-six. So let's do the hundred envelope challenge. It's really the only one I'm doing this week.
There we go. So these will go towards the back, and then these empty ones can go back on the top. And like I keep saying, I don't know how much longer these are going to fit in here, but we're just going to keep forcing it close. And that's it, guys. I am done. And thank you if you stuck around to the end. And this was rushed. And this was really different. And I hope the vibes weren't too off. But I hope you guys have an awesome day. If you're watching this on the weekend, whenever it is it comes out, I have no idea when it's going to come out. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I know everybody's in back to school rhythm right now. So I hope everybody had a successful back to school. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay, guys, till next time. Bye.